We've always wanted to do space and we've always wanted to do sci-fi and a weird Australian blue collar kind of sci-fi. So, you know, we're huge fans of every single sci-fi franchise out there, um, but we never get to do it because of sets, costumes, visual effects budgets, all of these things that immediately get in the way of doing our thing, but in space. Finally, like with this, with this technology and this workflow, we could. Yep. Bring back those thrusters by 0 0.03. 0 0.03 thrusters are down. And for us, it was. How do we not just test the technology, we wanted to put it through a full production. That's why we pushed to do a short rather than just a tech test. Because we wanted to run a production from start to finish and basically stress test it, go where were the issues, where were the um, bottlenecks. And like, I, I think all of us looking back, like it was a really smooth shoot for something like when you're stepping into that, generally there is a lot of teething. And you know, I can confidently say there, there wasn't as much as I thought there'd be. This felt like we we're playing at both ends of the time spectrum in terms of cinema, cinema's history. We've always shown against, you know, yeah, matte paintings and, and backdrops and, and, and rear projection. So this is a bit like going back to that, where it's it's in camera, but you're able to manipulate it and use it as a white source in real time. And if we were compositing this on a blue screen or a green screen, I would have been compositing it for months, months and months and months. Whereas we had the edit locked and loaded a couple of days later. Like everything is in camera by like two shots. There was there were limitations you just get used to when you're shooting, that you sort of shut down creative ideas before you even articulate them. Where we're like, oh, wouldn't it be really, really cool if we cross shot with our character in the foreground and, pulled focus to a character in the background and it immediately went, oh, dang, this wall was incredibly bare. There's nothing going on back there. It was pretty flat. And I remember sort of turning to Jeremy and Jeremy was playing around with this orange kind of hologram. And I was like, don't worry about that. It's going to look stupid. He's like, no, 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 just give me a bit of, give me a second. If we were on a regular set, we would have had to pause for two, three hours while production design got that sorted, blended it in, or we would have had to scrap the shot entirely because we are like, we're just not ready for it, we're gonna have to find something else. But when I realized I could just turn to Jeremy and say, can you drag and click a light and put it right there? Can we put a pipe on that wall? Can we put a window in that wall? Because I think that would look nicer. The fact that that happened in a handful of minutes uh, and on the fly, like as you're prob problem solving, I think that was the biggest exciting sort of thing and going, okay, if you can do that, what else can you do? We essentially set up the camera in almost a single location and we figured out sort of what color lights were to our right and what color lights were to our left. And then we had to go through the mental math of an environment where the background could change and shift however we needed to be. But to get our shot reverse shot, we needed to take both our practical lights and our actors and revolve them with as if they're on a giant lazy Susan. Like I think if we had extra time at this, that pre-production time with the digital location would have been a lot more fun. Like it would have meant, you know, me, Aaron, the cinematographer, and Jeremy could have really just sat down and and spent a lot of time just working through what are the options in this set. What are the option with this amount of characters and digital mannequins? And you can get really creative with that and you're not blowing time and money on finding that on set. Well, everyone's been incredibly lucky to have access to these huge resources that Unreal has provided with their libraries. So all of a sudden we have like beautiful uh, modular sci-fi walls just at the click of a button. So our capacity to put a set together in the space of a day, a few years ago that just didn't exist and now it's there for everyone to use. It's been really exciting to see this incredible community grow so, so fast online with all the virtual production forums, the Unreal forums. There's so many highly intelligent and creative people just contributing to the conversation because this is such a new field. And there's just so much information sharing going on and so much generosity amongst that community. So it was really, really exciting for us to sort of jump in and have our own go at it. And um, we're blown away by the results. Like the fact that we were able to turn this around in three days is insane and it would have been impossible several years prior. You can get flexible and you can get creative and there was a handful of extra shots that we never thought we'd get. Even full setups where it was just like, you can move into a setup really quickly. Um, and from a director's perspective, 
cinematographer's perspective, storyteller's perspective, that is, that's really exciting.